Hi everybody, Kemp from Oz here, and uh, today I'm going to go through the Spiral Dex uh, Planner, the system of visual planning. Now, uh, before I start, I will just sort of mention that this was uh, changed and adapted from uh, another system called Chronodex, which was uh, invented by a fellow called Patrick Ng, and uh, his details are down below if you want to check out Patrick's site. But what I found was that I wasn't quite happy with the Chronodex pattern and how he had set it out, so I went uh, and tried to create my own, and I wanted it to be visually easy to read. So I created the spiral and it's actually based on a Fibonacci curve. So if you can sort of see this sort of um, increasing spiral shape there. Now it's not a perfect Fibonacci curve because I've adapted it so it looks a bit more like a trail but it's also based on the 12 to 6 to 3 to 9 clock face as well. So um, I want to, I'll bring the camera in a bit closer for you to have a look at, and I've actually filled in this one for today, so I'll just move the camera a little bit. And the whole system, if you're not familiar with it, is that it actually starts at uh, 6 a.m. here, and these small dots, which are a little bit hard to see, so I might bring them up closer and see if you can see them, get the camera to focus, yes, uh, not really. So what if you could see them there, you'll see that that is uh, a 6 to 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then the afternoons uh, hours go on the outside. So if I bring them down a little bit more, you can see that. So um, it's based on the time because we're really used to um, the clock face. And at a glance, you can look at a clock and within a couple of or less than a second you can actually you'll know exactly what time it is so I've sort of combined the two the Fibonacci curve which is very aesthetically pleasing for the eye and the ratios in Fibonacci curves um, just it, there's something about them that actually just grabs your attention and it's very pleasing so that's one of the reasons why I, I use these and uh, then also the clock face as well and the times. So um, I'll just show you a blank one which is on this side of the page. So that's how it starts out. It starts at 6 a.m. Now if you are a shift worker or you have an earlier day or you tend to uh, start at different hours, you can actually modify it by extending the times around or in the morning, for instance. Um, but for most people, I guess that you start the day around about maybe 6 or 7. Uh, in this case, for me, uh, where it starts at 6, I actually go to the gym at 5.30, so I've actually extended it back into there a little bit. And then if you can see there, a little bit more obvious at the top, um, I've divided each of these are hours, and then there's a little 15-minute section as well, so you can actually then draw lines down to... Uh, show 15 minutes uh, intervals uh, just to help with your time allocation a bit more. Now you'll notice here that I've uh, color coded and I've got three colors here. I've got green which is my personal uh, times for me. I've got blue which is uh, family time, uh, red for work and black here which uh, could be an appointment or something sort of special. So and I've also shaded them in. Um, I've highlighted and filled it in fully with color there. But with my pen, um, it takes a bit of ink. And also, I just really want to highlight the area. So I've just sort of done it in lines there. And of course, if I had pencil or textures, I'd probably be able to uh, color them all in. But that's enough for me. That at a glance, I can actually see exactly what I'm doing during the day. And so the progression from the day from the beginning, about breakfast time, all the way around the afternoon, then to evening and around bedtime here, which is about 10 o'clock. All right, so how have I worked this? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how I plan this. Um, if I know in advance my appointments, then I'll just fill them in. Um, the good thing about this is it, it can be very flexible. So, uh, for instance, you might want to track both times. I might be at work, and then uh, I might also, one of my children may have an appointment, so I can add that in as well, so we can have double color or uh, combination of the two. And um, 
the space around here, um, not sure if it comes up in the video too well, I'll try and bring it up again to see. Uh, there's a, a grid that I have printed on the paper as well, and that just helps me with the lines for writing and so on. So uh, what I would do is say there's a dentist appointment, um, so I just would just write it in and I'll just uh, write the word dentist there, and maybe at uh, 1 p.m. And that's just a little um, visual cue, and then it's also then a note in case I need to remember that. Um, so I might pick up the children at 3.30 from school, So, and um, all I do is actually just um, write where I need to to explain the details. Now I've got the gym there, I won't need to write the word gym because for me it's an appointment for myself, I know what that is. Over here we might have um, uh, the black there, so that might be um, a visit to the accountant, say. So that might be a business one, so I might just put that in. Uh, accountant. And I'd sometimes do the time, so that's at 4.30 to 6. Maybe I'm going to do my tax. Um, we have family time, dinner time. Again, I wouldn't really uh, colour that in if I know that that's family time. And then this is uh, my time, so I might write journal um, there, and I might also write YouTube. Create some more YouTube videos as well. So as you can see, um, at a glance, I don't need to have a great explanation, but it also, with these labels, um, it just portions the time of day to what I need to do. So instead of having just a bland list down the side without having much uh, times, I can at a glance know dentist is here, uh, pick up kids here, appointment with the accountant here, and so on. So that's the whole idea of the spiral decks. It's actually that I don't have to spend a lot of time interpreting the page. Um, I am a visual person, a visual learner, and I like things set out in diagrams, and I can just uh, relate to this much, much easier. Now, of course, I've got the rest of the page here, which I can use for just whatever I want to. So um, I, I tend to do checklists, so let's just write a few checklists, and you can do it everywhere. Now, the beauty about having these little grids is that I can actually just create a, a bullet square, which I can then... Uh, check off so I might do shopping and I might do uh, gas go and get some gas for the car um, I might do uh, dry cleaning so this could be my list of chores or appointments that I have to do before work and then as I do them I can just check them off tick 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 um, I can write some diagrams here, so I might or a calculation. So perhaps I need to uh, order, you know, 45 um, items, and I have to um, pay six dollars each. So I can just do the math: six fives are thirty, zero carry the three, four six is twenty-four, five six is twenty-seven. So I might have to pay that amount there, and the rest of the page is really. Um, for whatever I need it to do. So um, the idea is that this whole page serves to make sure that I can be organized very, very quickly. Um, I might want to put down what I've eaten today if I'm um, tracking my uh, eating and exercise and so on. Now, a couple of pages earlier, I'll just show you. There's a typical page that I have uh, done. And as you can see, some of the times change, and I've got a few more notes there. Let me just bring it up a bit closer. Uh, very important uh, message, so I put a box around it, and of course down here some bullets, uh, paying some bills, and then some other appointments there as well. So occasionally I might even put down the bottom, you know, how many glasses of water I've drunk during the day, just to keep a track of my fluids and so on. And then at a glance there I can actually see a whole range of different things that I'm doing. Uh, reminders with the calendar up the top, so that's someone's birthday, and then of course just um, just whatever. So when I'm wanting to know for instance how much time I've used for work, I can see at a glance 
as well, this the proportion of the colored sections there. And that's really basically it. The spiral decks is, is just a very easy way to represent your time. Um, the good thing that I like about it is that I can actually monitor how much time I'm I'm doing things. So for instance, if um, I've got lots and lots of red, then I realize that I've actually used a lot of my daytime for work issues, and maybe I need to uh, change that over the next few days. Uh, again, it's good to track to see how much time I've got for family things, and a whole range of different things as well. So, the Spiral Decks. It's uh, a system that works for me, and I hope you would uh, try it. Now you can get a copy of this on my blog, File Effectuations, and also uh, there's a free download. Um, it's uh, designed for A5 file effects and also for the personal. So, looks like my camera's frozen, but I'm sure you can still hear me. So, have a look at the website. See, try it for yourself. Let me know what works for you and any other ideas. Just let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. So, uh, Spiral Decks, Kent from Oz. See you on another File Effects video.